is the commissioner in charge conservation in the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Integrities. He's a PhD man. Thank you so much. Um, our chief guest, the Right Honorable Ruth Nankabirwa Sintamu, the government chief whip. We want to welcome you officially to the Ministry of Tourism as our senior, but more so, thank you so much for associating yourself with Miss Kambi Uganda. Thank you so much. You identified yourself at a time when we needed you most. When Anne came to my office to introduce this subject of Miss Kambi, at first, of course, I didn't know much about this. She told me about this, told me, oh no, I have a vision. You've been presiding over different projects of tourism, but uh, I want to promote my country, but first of all, to appreciate what we are. Then I said, what is this? She told me that uh, I'm a press lady. I come from a family which has ever produced a Miss Uganda. Her sister, one year, she was a Miss Uganda, but of size zero. For her said, yes, I appreciate that those are beautiful, but I also believe that even us, the press ladies, we are also very beautiful. She convinced me, and she invited me to come up to go and have a media launch for the Miss Kavi Uganda. Of course, when I went to preside over this function, of course, as a Minister of Tourism, I always talk about promotion. This time, some people misquoted me, thinking that we are going to use these ladies as a tourism attraction. I want to associate myself with the Minister of Tourism in the strongest terms possible. That we don't use any other, we don't use people as tourism attractions. However, we believe that tourism begins with the people. Without people, no tourism. Before a tourist moves from, from wherever he has moved from, to the airport, to Gwindi, in Penetratable National Park, or to any other national park, Gwindi, or to Chilepo, or to Lake Mbulo, he would go through different people. And when those people in that country are not excited, there is no tourism. And uh, our vision as a ministry is to bring tourism to the people. That's why we are coming up with very many initiatives to make sure that tourism becomes a ministry of the people. And I'm very grateful for this. Of course, very many accusations came, but I want to appreciate, first of all, the Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, who was in the chair the first day, when there was a lot of attacks. And they thought that that day, Chiwanda is going. Some people had even held media conferences calling for my resignation. I said, okay, I'd rather resign if I'm standing on the right thing, because God created us in his image. In his image we are created. When you read the Genesis story, the story of the creation, chapter 1, from verse 1 to verse 31, God created, and God is the first tourist. Because whatever he would create, he would look at that creation and say, wow, this is beautiful. God himself is a tourist. God could not create, and when you read that, that book, the last verse, verse 31, that's when he created man, man and woman. And when he created them, he looked at them and said, wow, this is so good. Actually, all the man and woman did not just say it is good, he said, this is so good. Now, who are you 
to discriminate against the God's people. Whether they have created extra size and extra according to you, who tells you they are even extra? What if that is the size you wanted? These ladies you have created in God's image and we love you so much. You are our mothers, you are our sisters. You know, the rest of the things that you think about, that when you say, can yes, yes, lady, this is the thing, this is in your own way. It's you who's a sinner, not the ladies. Please, like the way God created the night. God created this night to let people have fun, people can sleep, but some people use the night doing the wrong things. But that does not say that now God is going to say that we shouldn't have a night now because people sin during the night. It is you who is a sinner, not the night. So I want to say, I want to tell you people, don't discriminate. Nia was given this ministerial post to be a minister in the church of the small ones and the big ones. And I'm not regretting and I'll never regret. I'm going to associate with these ladies. We are going to make sure that we promote them. We are going to create confidence. We are going to move the world. And we are going to tell everyone that this is the world we've been created. We are Africans and we are very grateful that when God was creating, by the time he was in Uganda, he had a lot of materials. He actually gave us the extra. By the time we went to China, where are you? Most of the things are grown off. But now, when he was here, he still had a little thing here. So, I want to say thank you, God. Thank you for creating this country. He gave us a very good weather. He gave us food. And out of this food, that's why we are, that we have calves, we have these, and we appreciate God. Thank you, the Almighty God, for having created us. And whoever this quest against this is, you are the you are evil, you are evil yourself. Some people even call themselves the religious leader. They say if you're a religious leader, you are not supposed to discriminate against the people of God. You are not. So that's I am, that's what I we are. And you and and our ladies, we are still with you, and I know we are going to move, we are going to work with these ladies in Operation Wealth Creation, in the Environment Campaign, in the Clean Kampala, Keep Uganda Clean. We are, going, we are going to move with these ladies and we support you so much. We, and I'll brief His Excellency, the President, about this is only that he's out of the country, but he's been represented here, of course, by the government chief whip. Thank you so much for believing Believing us, of course, I don't want, I want, uh, when the right honorable speaker came on the chair after, after the deputy speaker was away, they said now, now that the, it's the lady who is seated in the chair, now this is the end of Chiwana. So one member of parliament raised the issue on the floor that day. Honorable speaker, these ladies were big size, they are immoral. Well, then the speaker just asked the lady, and she was the lady who was moving this. But as she was moving, one member from another side said, order, order, then she was put to order. Then the speaker made a ruling, said, this is an issue of human rights. If you allow the small size to contest, how dare you, who are you to say that the big size are not allowed? And she was ruled out of order completely. When the head of state was told about this, he said, now, Example, I think they, they, don't know what, they don't know what to say. This is an innovation. These people believe in themselves. Let them go ahead. And since then, my head is just in the air. It's just moving like this. Because I know everyone, when you convince the head of state, you, have, you convince the speaker, you convince the deputy speaker, and you convince the government chief whip to be your chief based on this very important function. Kati chaga na chikat ne basi wone banyawo. Njaga lakuwa zamu ba lipu 